New York shall be with thee, a friend of God. That they must be with thee, where the room's heart rests. The words you hear, though spoken through the voice of a man in trance, are not those of a man, but of spiritual messengers of God speaking to you. The voice of the messengers is slow, because it is spoken from a depth that fills the heavens, yet it is for all of earth, for you, for this time. For this is the most beautiful Christmas message of love that could be given to you. They come as they have before for one purpose, to prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah, and to ask you to prepare a way within yourself. For they come not to one faith or religion, but to all the world. Glory be the name of the children of God. Glory be the name of the Lord thy God forever and ever. And we shall say to you this parable in this manner. And the time that had come forth for the birth of the one known as Jesus of Nazareth. And among the shepherds there did appear angels. And the angels announced unto them of the coming Therefore, in the birth of this one, they rushed forth unto their families, and they did bring their families with them as they went forth unto the town of Bethlehem. And one of the shepherds son who had heard the stories of the time when the Messiah would come. He had gone to the church reluctantly on the Sabbath. And he had heard the words that were spoken he had sung the songs of Solomon. Yet He thought unto himself, I go there for to see a Savior, and I am not fit. I have no gift to give them. I have but one lamb, and one lamb has been an orphan. this mighty Messiah, though it be born in a manger, might not accept my gift. But he decided to take it with him anyway. And when he arrived there, he 
saw my child waiting, the kings, the wise men, in their rich attire, even their servants were dressed better than he, and even they had gifts which far was better than what he had. Yet, as it was written, so it would be that the Jewish people would be the first to witness the birth of the child. And so the shepherds went forth in and knelt there to give their thanks and bring their gifts. Joseph walked to the boy and put his hand on his shoulder and said unto him, What a fine gift you have brought me, son. It is my sincere hope that my son shall grow to be like you. Where was this down? How could this be so? How could such words be spoken? Why would he wish for the Messiah to be as he? For he knew his downfalls. He knew the things that he was and the things that he wasn't. As he walked outside, and the great king walked up to him and said, What does he look like? Tell us. And he looked at them. Here were great kings of other lands asking him a shepherd boy. And he said unto them, For well, there is no greater sight than that that you shall behold. And suddenly he could not understand why he was speaking in the terms which he was speaking in. As the kings came forth, the shepherds had all filed out, and Joseph walked out among them and went to his father. And he said unto his father, Lord God has made it known that we must flee this land and go into the land of Egypt. Would it be possible that your son could travel with us and tend our flock such as it has become? and be the companion of my son. The shepherd boy's father looked unto Joseph and said, Yes, take my son, for he is the greatest treasure I have. The boy was overwhelmed. Spoke. He was the greatest treasure his father owned. Such great compliments. And then as the kings came forth outside, the light of the star grew mighty. 
in the angel voices which sing joy to the earth on high and Gabriel said unto them for you have given the greatest gifts of all It's a party made ready the next morning to leave, and you with it. It would be many years before he returned back into his father's house. With all the stories of all the lands that they had visited. spend the rest of his life tending the flock that Jesus of Nazareth as he had grown had shown him it was a flock of men He was glad that Jesus never chose him as a disciple. And Jesus knew that he did not wish to be chosen. That his greatest joy came from that of the task that he did well. The story we have told you is a common story, a story that you can take in text from any book. It has neither no wisdom nor all wisdom. But it has wisdom it is for the day and the time in which you live. As you near the season and celebrate the birth of the unknown of Jesus of Nazareth, remember sometimes. It is greater to receive than to give. And sometimes it is greater to give than receive. It is also not the greatest gift of all the goods that can be given with the friendship from one person to another. The greatest gift that can be given is a gift that was brought from the Lord God unto you upon that night of nights. And it was a gift of love <coughs> and the sharing that the Lord wished to do with you. The 
because he knew that you are of his kind, just like this. <laughs>